This Toll Brothers model home is indoor outdoor living at its best. In this video, I'll be walking you through the Mangusta model home by Toll Brothers. It's located in the Woodson's Reserve community, and I'll tell you all about this up and coming neighborhood later in the video. As we walk in, you immediately start to understand the magnitude of the indoor outdoor spaces. You see these grand ceiling heights, and there's a design element that I haven't seen much of lately that I'd really like to know your opinion on. As we make our way over into the dining area, there's an aesthetic in this home that is a little bit unique and that I've had clients either really hate or really love. But first, let's walk through your car wash style pantry as we enter one in and come out the other to this really cool coffee bar with cabinets that run the length of the wall. What's your opinion on this unique backsplash that has tons of movement? Coming back around, you see stacked double stainless steel ovens and this really large island. And more of that unique backsplash running up the backside of this wall over your custom six burner gas cooktop. Not to mention this vent hood that also runs seamlessly with the upper cabinets. What do you think about all these little gold accents on the six burner grill? Here's a closer look at the mosaic tile done on the backsplash. Panning back around, we have this front apron sink on this large island with quartz countertops and lightly colored cabinets. Now, the thing that I was mentioning earlier is that there is not a whole lot of accent color going on. As you see up to the ceiling beams are also white. Most of the accents you'll notice are in the decorative and art pieces. As we make our way into the primary bedroom, we get more of that unique look in the tray ceilings and beams that are all neutral and white. So I'm really curious as to what your opinion is on that style of design work. Of course, this board and batten wall really stands out against that neutral palette. As we enter into the primary bathroom, we get a really good look at this unique layout that's in here. This bathroom is designed all around the centerpiece, which is this large walk-in shower, and next to that, this really large soaker tub. How do you feel about being on display here, right in the middle of everything? Over here to the left is a closet, and the far left is a makeup station that's secluded from everything else. I really like these mounted sinks on that dual vanity. Here on the right is the second portion of that dual closet system, and as we pan back around and looking at the dual sinks, Here's yet another example of that sleek design work in that tile behind the mirror that runs a full length of that wall. It blends seamlessly in with the color of the cabinets. Real quick, I'd like to introduce myself as we move out of the primary bedroom. My name is Adam Sanders with the Watchdog Realty Group, and I'm a real estate agent in the greater Houston, Texas area. I specialize in helping clients in the new build process. The new build process can be very convoluted and stressful if you've never experienced it before. I've helped numerous people maneuver through this process and I've developed a seamless system that helps alleviate a lot of the stress and gives you more peace of mind. I actually have two clients that I'm working with as we speak and they are both located out of state. Ironically, one is on the West Coast in California and the other one is on the East Coast in Florida. And neither one of them will even see the home until closing day. Here's a unique little office nook. I like how it's secluded from everything because if you're like me, when you're getting ready to sit down to get to work, you need the least amount of distractions as possible. And this little area allows just for that. Moving back to the living spaces, here's another great view of that kitchen. And we're gonna move our way upstairs now to the secondary bedrooms. I wanna circle back around real quick to those clients who are moving here out of state. It's stressful enough building a brand new home, but trying to design it sight unseen can be overwhelming to say the least. They were able to make a lot of great design decisions, which gave them peace of mind through the entire process. I really wanna play with a skeet ball game, but the power is off and I couldn't locate the balls. Ugh, bummer. So as we move back to the secondary bedrooms, 
we have more of the same neutral palettes. So when you see a design like this in a home, I think it's really important that you go and visit model homes. And let me tell you why. It's so that you can get an idea of how it's staged because these builders hire professional stagers and designers. Assume for a second that this home hasn't been staged. It would look completely different. So when you walk into a home like this that doesn't have a lot of color accents, it's really a blank slate. And if you're like me and have a hard time visualizing what it could look like, these staged model homes are a great help at getting that process started and just helping getting your ideas together. I highly recommend when you're walking through, taking lots of pictures and videos to help organize your ideas. As we make our way back downstairs, let me give you an idea of where we're located. Woodson's Reserve is located in Spring, Texas, which is approximately 30 miles straight north of downtown Houston. It's just inside Loop 99. And if you're not familiar with Houston, we basically have three loops that encompass our area. The most inner loop is 610, the middle loop is Beltway 8 Tollway, and the outer loop is the Grand Parkway or 99. Woodson's Reserve has become an incredibly popular community because of its proximity to the city, but also having a natural feel with landscape locations, hiking and biking trails, and fitness centers, and not to mention hot spots for fishing. They have also built brand new primary schools for this area, which is really special. If you want to know more about the subdivision, and more about the amenities that are afforded here, shoot me a quick email, which is located below this video in, in the description. As we make our way back to the front of the home, I want to walk you through this great media room. And I was super excited when I saw those guitars hanging on the wall because I was gonna grab one and play you a little song. However, many other people must have had the same idea because those guitars were zip tied to the hangers so sorry and maybe it's just as well because you're lucky not having to endure that back off to the left of this media room is a half bath and then something i get requested so many times lately from clients and that is a secondary primary suite on the first floor with its own dedicated full bathroom access this is becoming increasingly popular over the years as elderly parents are moving back in and how cool is this right under the stairwell they utilize the space in a really brilliant way with floating shelves, tile work, and lower cabinets. What a great cocktail bar area in this wrought iron door. It's super unique. This office area or sitting area is another blank palette had they not inlaid this beautiful wallpaper in the inserts. As we make our way back over to the back to these double sliders, you really can see and feel how this indoor outdoor space can be combined if you'd love to see more home tour videos simply click or tap on the video to the right and if you never want to miss another one simply tap or click my face to the left and as always thanks so much for watching